In a world of boring talk, misinformation, and mindless chat, two superheroes emerge from the asses and, and ashes. Ben, is this asses or ashes? Bring the action. Happy hour with Ben and Alexander. Pull up a chair. Raise a glass. Enjoy it in the chat. <laughs> it's talk radio with jazz hands. Oh my God, you had to say that. Yes. So you know what I love about today? What do you love about today? You know, I'm a gay man, but I still <laughs> no. like double Ds. Wait, what? Doris Day. There we go. There we go. There's the explanation. <laughs> Every gay man loves double Ds. <laughs> we do love us some Doris Day, yes. don't we? 90 years old. <laughs> what was that? That was a really bad imitation of it. That was like Phantom of the Opera meets Doris Day. <laughs> it is. Back, it was her 90th birthday. Yes. Have you seen her picture? She's flawless. She looks amazing. But why I couldn't somebody? Like this. Yes. <laughs> why couldn't somebody dress her up a little bit? Shh. It's Doris Day. Do you think she? She looks like it was an ad for like TJ Maxx or something. So she. You know what? I guarantee you, she was comfortable. Oh, she did look comfy. Uh -huh. And she had that that D necklace on. It was nice. She was like a rapper. She had that gold D. Freaky, like freaky. D. Double D <laughs> in the house. Um, I did hear that she's coming out with a rapping CD. Did you? <laughs> yes. How's it gonna go? Will you give us a snidbit? <laughs> um, no. No. Okay. Okay. So bra, so bra. No. No. Maybe you should have kept. I'm like no. wearing a bra. <laughs> oh my god. That <laughs> no. No. We're gonna keep moving forward. We're gonna Chug get a call head, from her people. She'd be like, Miss Doris Day will not be singing a song called Case Ross Ra Where's My Bra. <laughs> It's going to go viral. Yes, of course it is. I think everything so, is going to go viral. Yes, and it does. Anyway, so talk about no, Doris Day. All right, all right. We have with us Kelly Lester. In the house. In the house. In the hizzle. <laughs> she is the star of? of It's Magic, The Life and Music of Doris Day. It's, you guys, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. It is fantastic. It's it's a one-woman tribute show yep. to the amazing Doris Day Double with D. like snippets of things I haven't even heard. Really? About Doris Day. Like, like her rapping career. Oh, no. <laughs> Actually, we'll let, we'll let Kelly tell us about yeah, that. Yeah, but I'm so excited. Yeah. And it was written and directed by her hubby. In the house as well. <laughs> Lord Lord Lester. Lester's here with us. <laughs> you guys, it, we've had the chance. We, you know, we're, we're Salsa Productions, and we're, we're, we're putting together little previews. We've, got to, we've, we've been able to watch... Kelly, come along with this show, and you just got like all serious. You're I like, know because it's it, we have like been I in. didn't, I, I didn't know what to expect. I, to be honest, at first, you, it, it's so much fun. Like it, during the middle of the show, you're, you will see people all of a sudden, like the arms will go around their significant other, and the heads will lean in, and they'll just there. It, it, there really is a moment, uh, many moments actually throughout the show. How about let's talk about when Kelly like brought it at Musical Mondays. Oh, <laughs> they went nuts. <laughs> they like, went eight. A room of like drunken gay sailors. It's a hard thing to command, <laughs> and she did and a she damn did. good yes. job. <laughs> Doris would have been so proud. She did. She did a proud. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are live from Sunset Tower Studios here in the heart of Hollywood. Sasa Radio is proud to present singer, actress, and mompreneur Kelly Lester. <laughs> What's up, KL? Oh my gosh, you guys, you guys. I'm like so wound up from your whole intro, I can't even think straight. How are you? Or, or maybe it was the cocktail you made. <laughs> that Always. could have a little bit That's of something. That's what to do we with. do. <laughs> How are you? I'm fantastic. Perfect. You look amazing. You oh do. my goodness. Well, thank you so much. You go through so many looks because I've seen you in your Doris Day motif. Beautiful Whoa. dress. Oh, thank you. Stunning. Thank you, thank you. Uh, we had an evening out with Musical Mondays. You were wearing boots. I was wearing, I think I'm wearing the same boots. Oh, I love those the, the, boots the, the were the made for walking. Oh, well, thank you. I, I'm good. wearing them again. I yes. actually have other boots, but for you, I guess I wear the same boots all the time. <laughs> they work, Mom. I don't yes. change it. <laughs> Why does every woman wear boots around us? Because boots Joe are Ryan's good. Way. Boots are real good. <laughs> boots, even okay. Boots. boots. <laughs> um, and then um, I've seen you dress uh, your CEO style. When you're running the world and ruling Amazon.com. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, you don't really see me unless you come over to my house <laughs> all day in my sweat. Sometimes, yes! sometimes my pajamas because every mompreneur is famous for her pajama look in front of the computer. But yes, that's what we do. But all of the media you've gotten and all that, you're always dressed so wonderfully. and That's from the top up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't look down. <laughs> so I'm, I'm addicted to your story. You were literally born into a family of performers. Um, and you're known as the singing CEO. Uh, yes, it's the, the the phrase I've coined yes. for because um, I actually and of course I researched it. Does anybody else have that phrase? <laughs> Is that URL available? Can I get it on Twitter, Facebook, and the like? And this is why she is running the no, world. No, that is Kelly. She can pick the most obscure. Like, she does her research. Yes, be she... like, somebody registered that in 1922 in a family in China. And that's on the why she's Valley. in the position that she's in, <laughs> yes. running the shit. 
<laughs> what is a singing CEO? Right. Well, the singing CEO came about because actually um, my passion has always been singing and musical theater. And so, of course, I loved everything you had to say up leading to this, Evita <laughs> and all the rest. Yes. I, I have a little trouble with the, the, a few of the Doris Day <laughs> remarks. Yeah, that's we'll it. Go, we'll go backwards <laughs> on that. But um, no, so... You know, musical theater and singing has always been my passion. So when I decided to launch my company, Easy Lunchboxes, which is all about packing lunches. Now, what does that have to do with musical theater? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to that in a bit. <laughs> but I thought, well, if I'm going to have to pack lunches and sell lunchboxes, I've got to do something with singing. So I actually um, created some... Uh, videos and with some Sam content, Harris, yes, some 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 content that had to do with packing lunches and singing about them. That my husband Lauren <laughs> Lester, who's actually coming up soon, you'll meet him. Um, he helped me write and created, and he directed them. And we created these videos where we sing and dance with lunch boxes. So there you go, musical theater lunch boxes. So I am the singing CEO, and yeah. that's how that came across, <laughs> came about. What, what I love is that uh, you, you've set up. Uh, Two uh, businesses, yes. wildly successful, from your own home. You were not formally trained in any business, whatever. You learned no, everything I on have Google. A th I have a theater degree. I have nothing having to do with a business degree. <laughs> I really don't really love the whole business thing. But I you're think so what I'm good, good at, at What I'm good at is sharing and social media and talk, 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 and buy this, buy this. <laughs> <laughs> But you've you've consistently been a bestseller on Amazon.com. Yes. yes. For, for these bento boxes, mm -hmm. and you know, I think sushi and, w and whatever. I'm like, what kid's gonna take sushi to school? No, no, really? no, 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 no. It's not the food. It's the containers. <laughs> yes. What you put in them is your own damn business. <laughs> <laughs> but it has like a certain portion for each. The Brilliant. Only, the only thing, the dessert, the dessert oh, compartment's a little small. <laughs> Good <laughs> Lord. Well, actually, you can actually fit two of my lunchbox containers into my cooler bag. So you could have an entire container Just with desserts? three <gasps> sections full of your choice of desserts. She's so Do good. It, yes. <laughs> now I want to yes. buy it. I know. Right? And there will still be room for an ice block and a water bottle. <laughs> You have been asked to uh, participate in the theater and film cruise uh, for Crystal for Crystal Cruise doing this amazing show. Yes. Can we talk a little bit about uh, the love of the lady? I would I would love to. Well, um, the uh, my my dear friend Christopher Escamilla, who is um, the one that puts all the the entertainment and all the special programming together for the Crystal Cruise Line for their film and theater festival cruise, they call it every, I believe it's every six months, they do a film and theater uh, cruise and they honor a particular person or uh, aspect of entertainment. Last November, they did Marilyn Monroe oh, wow. and coinciding with the lovely Doris Day's 90th birthday party. Happy birthday, Doris. <laughs> um, she turned uh, 90 on uh, April 3rd. This year in May, their film and theater cruise is celebrating all things Doris Day, and Christopher actually asked me to create a Doris Day tribute show. Oh, you know, just so just whip one up. Yeah, just whip <laughs> one up. So, you know, a couple days ago, he said, can you do this? And I said, oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so a couple days later, I came up with this little show. Um, no, so, so that's how it started, and... Everyone that I mention, oh, and I'm creating a Doris Day. What? Really? <gasps> oh, my gosh. I love Doris Day. Like, everybody. I mean, you guys. Mm -hmm. Yes. You guys. We met, what, it was a couple months ago yeah, at, yeah. At, at one of your shows. And I said, you know, the Doris Day. And you said, oh, we love Doris Day. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We love Doris Day. <laughs> and here we are sitting in, you know, the Universal Broadcasting Network having your show. And, and here we are, you know, a couple months later. And, and everybody loves Doris Day. And that's what it's all about. And it's just going on from there. Okay, share one little tidbit about Doris Day that we'll find out more about at your show at Rockwell. Just one little tidbit that people might not know about Just this a day. Just nugget. Um, well, Doris actually hates the name Doris Day. What? what? That's not her real name. And in fact, all her life, she's insisted that her friends call her by her favorite nickname, which is, does anybody have a wild guess? Henrietta. <laughs> not even close. Her favorite nickname is Clara Bixby. That sounds like a clown, <laughs> like a 1920s <laughs> Hollywood I clown. It's love a happy that. thing. What does it mean? It's a happy thing. I'm not really sure what it means, but uh, I, 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 I do know I do know that Doris Day just loves to spread joy. 
and I think that's that's the thing I love about her most. It's so apparent in her uh, her films, her music, her singing, everything about her. There's just something something in her persona, it, 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 and when you watch her, it's just joy. Mm. She's just joy, and and I think maybe that's why everyone is so. You know, kind of like, oh, I love Doris Day. There's some, you know, you look at her and you just smile. You just smile. And that's that's part of what I'm trying to bring to my show and to share that with people and to remind people of that about her. You know, though, to, I didn't real, truly realize that she started so young. Yeah, I didn't industry. know either. Yes. I was like, whoa, whoa, I think of whoa. '60s Doris Day with Rock Hudson no, she, and James well, Garner and all that. She started singing. She started. She started dancing very, very young, and then she started singing when she was a teenager, That's and incredible. was with big bands by the time she was 16. I mean, her her life story is so fascinating, and she came from you know just just nothing, just nothing, no money, and a father that left her, and an incredibly wildly supportive mother who saw all her daughters talents and was a stage mother without being a you know annoying uh, overbearing <laughs> awful stage mother I mean Doris and her were very very close apparently their whole life and um, you know she's just uh, is is the mother was responsible for helping her daughter start her career and uh, the, the other funny thing about her is she didn't want to be famous <laughs> she, didn't, she didn't want no career she wanted to get married <laughs> Want to get married and have some kids? No, why does that happen? Like, I'm trying so hard over here. <laughs> I can't even get a viral video. <laughs> Oops, Hollywood got in the way. Right. Oops, what's Welcome all that to about? Hollywood. <laughs> I, th I think a lot of people respond to her too because she didn't just play like the ingenue, like the helpless ingenue. She was a powerful woman in all these movies. I mean, you had to be to play opposite James Garner and Rock Hudson. I mean, if she would give it back to yeah, them, yeah. especially like the fighting scenes, yeah. which you go, nothing, Ooh, nothing right? better than Doris Day getting mad. I mean, she's great. Yes. she's just great. But you kind of to emulate Doris Day in in your own life because you have are you ever seen me getting mad? Yes. Oh, it's oh I I, I think Doris Day does it much prettier than me. <laughs> you don't want to say you don't want to. You're see right me there mad. with me, sweetheart. <laughs> no, no, but, but I, I mean in terms of you know your performance and you're so nice and gentle and and yada yada, but you got this business sense. Uh, you raised a family while establishing this business. I'm still, so raising still raising them. They're not done yet. There's still a few cooking there. <laughs> but th that's kind of her energy was like, not only was she a great mom, she was a performer, she was sexy. I mean, she was everything. And yeah. I think that's why she was popular too. Mm -hmm. Right. And that voice. And that voice. That voice like butter. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Butter. Yeah, yeah. And one of the things about your show that I, uh, it, that's so fantastic is you're not trying to, to be Doris, you really, it is really a tribute to her. I could never be Doris. I mean, <laughs> and you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not actually, when I perform, I'm, I'm not good at impersonating people. I think that I've captured her style yes, in my yes. singing, you know, but um, no, it was never my intention to imitate her. She is who she is. And it's, it's actually been very daunting. I mean, she is who she is, that you know, you do, who, who can be an <laughs> icon, right? And so all I'm trying to do is, is, is celebrate the things about her that made her special. Mm -hmm. So you're taking this on a cruise. I think it's, it's two weeks, right? The, the cruise is two weeks, but amazingly enough, I only have to perform it one time. I shouldn't say I only have to. <laughs> I only get the wonderful opportunity to perform it one time for all the guests. I believe oh, it's a 500-seat wow. theater. Now, um, when we do our show tomorrow, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll have a, uh, just, just our, our wonderful pianist Gregory Neighbors tomorrow at Don't Tell Mama. But um, when I do the show at the Rockwell on Sunday, I have piano, bass, and drums. They're such a good oh. combo, yes, too. Yes, yes, tight. they're fantastic. But on the ship, I have the show arranged for six pieces. So oh. we'll have full, full, full band sound, you know, like really, really reminiscent of her big band sound and the horns. Oh. And, and so it'll, it'll be really, it'll be really lush. Okay, oh so wait God. a minute. I want to get this right, though. Oh you perform God, once. What do you do for the rest of the two weeks? She could be on a cruise. Do the cruise thing. <laughs> I, eat. Eat. Uh, that girl. Now listen, listen. Uh, you know, I, I've actually never been on a cruise before. I have Ever? To say no. Oh, my God. I'm very excited. What I'm if you get excited. seasick? Oh. No, but now I'm okay, fixing. Don't jinx it. Nervous. I live in fear of getting seasick, but. You'll be um, all right. Que sera, sera. Uh, que sera, sera. Right, exactly. Excuse me while, excuse me while I, I, I excuse myself. Yeah. Uh, Just sera. keep a bucket on the side. You'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> what would Doris do? That is, I know. That's exactly, that's really my biggest fear. But I have, I have my ginger pills, and they work for me in the air when we go on airplanes, so I'm praying to God that they work on that you, You'll be just fine. <laughs> God, you're going to have the 
the best two weeks. That's going to be go. Yeah, so we're, we're going to do a little singing, and then we're going to do like that a little sunny. thing. Uh, <laughs> I got forget. my sandals and my Bermudas. What more do I need? Mm. You still have to fit in your door stay dress when you come back. I've, I've, I'm bringing seven different sizes. That's what the gym's for. <laughs> forget about it. So, And the hope is that the, the show goes all around. So if you're listening and you're in a, in a major city with a great You want to see it? Yep. Sear it. <laughs> see you can hear it. <laughs> don't, see? don't get ratchet. <laughs> All right, I think we're going to take a little break. Quick and break. We're going to come back. Uh, we're going to bring your husband who wrote Ryder. and directed it. We're going to talk about the creative process. Yes. Yes. Good? yes. All right, take us to break, Natasha. <laughs> you want to party like a rock star? But still look like a princess? Miriam, skincare of the future. Brought to you by our very own Mike from the from Shaws, Shaws of Sunset. Sunset. Hey, this is Mike Showhead from the Shaws of Sunset. I'm so excited to have teamed up with the boys of Happy Hour to bring you Miriam. We're all busy, but we still want to look good. No other product will give you these results. Whether you want to take care of wrinkles, discoloration, or improve your texture, Nerium has you covered. Proven results with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Go to happyhour.nerium.com. That's happyhour.nerium.com. I got my bottle. Me too. That's why we love sex. Oh, God's sake. Now rock start up and get your bottle today. And we're back. I'm back. <laughs> you ready? Should we, shall we do it? Yes. Shall we just throw up the applause and go into it? Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go once again, coming from you live at Sunset Gower Studios. Sasa Radio is proud to present writer, director, and actor, and voiceover artist, Lauren Lester. <laughs> What's going on? Um, I've been listening to the show, <laughs> and I'm exhausted. <laughs> I have nothing to say. He's I'm out. Just... He's done. <laughs> <laughs> so, number one, I didn't even want you on the show because you're a voiceover. I mean, you're you have a voice for radio. I'm like, I don't want the That's, competition. Is, I mean, it I know... a, is it the nicest thing a host says? I really I didn't want you on the show. <laughs> it's okay. He's sleeping. <laughs> That's no, my host. I mean, I know I have a nice, manly baritone, you know, very uh, yeah. manly. Yes. And then here you come in. Hi. <laughs> I, I wrote and directed the show about like Doris Day. What you do? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Oh, on thanks with for us. having me. Absolutely. How, how exciting! Uh, we're doing the show on Sunday, and we're doing a, a snippet of it tomorrow night. Right, right. Yeah. So we're very excited to to do this before we go on the cruise mm -hmm. and do the the big show. You know, with the with the full orchestra and everything. So okay, so Kelly, did you go to Lauren and be like, "This is what you're doing," or was it like, "Oh, I need a writer and director"? Okay. Yeah. How did I that said, go down? I said, Lauren, I just got invited to create a Doris Day tribute show. If you don't help me, I can't do this. <laughs> 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 because you know what? I don't write. It's difficult. I am just not a writer. And as much as I want to be, I i mean, I would really love, 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 love to be able to. But he's a writer. One of um, my, my old, our oldest daughter is a writer. And it just comes so naturally mm -hmm. to them. And he's wonderful at putting together um, – you know, stories, telling a story from beginning, middle to end. He has a director's eye, and he's a wonderful writer. And I th said, if you don't do this, <laughs> I'm screwed. <laughs> well, th this isn't the first thing we've done together, so it was, it was kind of a natural thing that, that we would do this together. Uh, she mentioned earlier, and you mentioned earlier, the uh, uh, series that we did. We did a web series, and Sam Harris was on it, and also Barry Williams uh, from The Brady Bunch. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, I wrote and directed those episodes. So and funny. So, so good. Oh, thank right, you. The, thank the, you. The ones for Easy Lunch Boxes. Easy Lunch Boxes. We called those Let's Do Lunch. Yes. yes. Let's do lunch. And we yeah. <laughs> I, I want the web series Let's Do Cocktails. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Can you make bento for cocktails? Oh we can do anything. You we can do first. anything. Actually, is that what we're doing we right now? We can do it. Cheers. 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 Drink. <laughs> easy Lunch Boxes? What? Easy Wino Boxes? Why are you that's so I'm, ratchet. I'm down with that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like how she said it? Bam. I am down with that. I have brought it. <laughs> <laughs> I have brought it. I like that. I like the double T's. <laughs> so back to the oh, poor Lord is like know, what? Right. <laughs> but when you but when you sat down to to really start writing the show, mm -hmm. where did you where do you start from? Do you just kind of started with uh, uh, her autobiography? She has a fantastic, really candid. I think it was written in 1973. In there, something right? like that. Yeah, yes. and it, for for the, for that day, it was very candid about you know her love life. She was she was she did not live the the Pollyanna life that everybody I didn't know that. that everybody assumes because that's the kind of movies she made. Right, right. But in her personal life, she did not lead that kind of life, and so her book was very candid and interesting. And then I wanted to get 
other perspectives. So I, I read, I think, three other uh, biographies about her. And then really culled down the most interesting, uh, f- funniest. I like to get, I, I, I live for the funny when I go to see entertainment. Yes, so, sir. <laughs> so I look for the funniest anecdotes, the most interesting anecdotes, and culled it down to, uh, I think, a, a very tight uh, one-hour show. It's hard to do an entire life in one hour, but I think, we, I think we do it. No, I think <laughs> you, you do, do a, a great job. An amazing Thank you. job. And to your point, Kelly, there is a beginning, middle, and end, and it's so succinct. And I love the 11 o'clock hour, uh, number that you, that you put into the show, which is this amazing medley of the 60s movie themes of Doris Day because, you know, some of the themes were kind of cheesy, but they're in our heads, right. and you do such a great medley, and <laughs> it's so you. fun. <laughs> Touchy Pillow Talk. How many times am yeah, I singing Pillow Talk? Talk. <laughs> like, could you actually listen to any one of those songs no. all the way through? Through, no. No. So we did well, a mentally. I actually like a lot of them, you know? But hey, I'm the one who has to sing them, so I better right. like them. But the <laughs> flow of fun. the medley, I, where, when you do a medley, like, to, to put this piece here, this piece here, how do you do something like well, that? Well, actually, um, we came up with the songs that we wanted to use, and then I have a wonderful arranger. His name is Chris Harden, and I said, here, here's the medley of songs. Put them in whatever order you want. And interestingly enough, a couple of them were in the same key, and they just really flowed. So that was his job. I didn't say they right. have to be in a particular order. That was, you know, that was his creative thing contribution, and and it's wonderful. It it just works. And then there are a couple of other medleys that we, you know, came up with that we wanted to put together. It makes it more interesting and ties things together. But I think I think the hardest thing is to really tell her story. We have about a half an hour a little more than half an hour of music and about 25 minutes or so of talking and telling somebody's entire life story in 25 minutes, you know, and telling a few jokes. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's, it's a tall well, order. Well, a- as you know, the, the, the songs uh, really point up the different parts of her life. So the, the, the talking sections hang on what the next song is going to be or come out of what yeah. the previous song is going to be. So that was an important thing to interweave those two elements. You know, I, I've seen the show a few times because you did a, you did a sneak preview performance um, at, at at a private residence, um, and then we saw you Musical Mondays, and we saw you at Hollywood Piano Company. Every time you sing "K Sera Sera," like t- like Ben said, people react. Old, young. Uh, does it doesn't matter? Uh, there were a couple of songs, not just the case for Ross Ross. Yeah. I mean, you really people got teary eyed. Yeah, oh, you I, see I I was thrilled um, when I'm and and that that's the thing I li- loved about the last a uh, couple of performances that I did at at my previews where you know the lights were on in the house. It was nothing fancy. It wasn't like you know a dark house and the, and the lights are in my uh, eyes. That so spread I can't was pretty fancy though. though. <laughs> <laughs> I did not want to leave that table <laughs> with all the crackers and the goodies. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. amazing. <laughs> that's what mattered. Um, no, but I mean to to. S- it's interesting because um, my my parents used to love to entertain in their living room, and I have a brother that is a pianist, and uh, we're all pretty musical and and stuff. My dad would ask me to perform all the time, <laughs> and you know when they would have dinner parties, okay, Kelly, get up and sing something. I was like, oh my god, Dad, please, you know, we all just ate dinner. Um, so so I would literally have to get up and perform in the living room quite often for people and a lot of other performers actually tell me oh god I hate singing to people that close and I I, I like it when the lights are off mm-hmm. and I can't see anything mm-hmm. but I personally prefer being able to see the effect that I'm having on people and so when I would get to Que Sera, Sera in this show immediately like you said people's there they would clutch each other's hands they would look at each other and so many people told me after the show how moved they were and i i do think that particular song yeah. i know my own mother did and it turns out like everyone's mom sang them that song mm-hmm. when they were growing up so everybody <laughs> just completely just goes oh my gosh you it know is. It's and it's not a song that you hear every day so you may not have heard it in quite a while mm-hmm. so that's, that's and, probably and, what's and what it comes out of in the show is that that's actually doris day's philosophy of life yeah, it's not just that she had this big hit, happened to have this big hit. That really was her philosophy. She believes that what happens is always for the good or for the best. So it, it's interesting that she had that. That was her biggest hit. And you know, Kelly, uh, when I sing to people, they often cry too. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> so all you have to do is turn the lights off, and you'll never know. About <laughs> <it>. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> okay, so you have gorgeous red hair. <laughs> You kind of are a little Desi. You, ha- you have Desi Arnaz eyes. What's it like having a husband and wife entertainment partnership? What's it like behind the scenes? This is, is the it part easier where, this or This is harder? the part where I said you've never seen me mad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now Lauren will give you his answer. <laughs> is, is it hard to direct your wife? Like, uh, you didn't hit that note right. Ah! 
Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> um, gosh, how do I begin? <laughs> I know. Watch it. Careful. <laughs> Proceed with caution. Yes. I don't know why you top. set him up like Pillow this. You, you know, we, we actually have, have worked together for a long, long time. Uh, we, we've been married for a long time. Uh, but we the first thing we did was something like 30 years ago. Oh, wow. And oh, We uh, haven't been married that long. Don't age us that much. <laughs> no, the first we thing. We just celebrated our 25th anniversary. Hey, oh, my God. Thank congratulations. You. Thank you. So maybe like 25 years ago. 25, 28, whatever. Uh, Who's counting? <laughs> but the, fir the first project we did, uh, we, we were really at loggerheads, you know, because uh, I, I have a certain way of doing things. She had a certain way of doing things, and they did not, they did not mesh. <laughs> but now we can speak to each other in shorthand. You know, which is really, really great, especially like when it comes to the jokes, you know, and, and the funny. You know, this I could, man is funny. <laughs> I, I, I'm I'm funny in a sort of um, this is how you this is how you can give the funny, Kelly. Oh, really, Lauren? OK. <laughs> and I totally trust him. I mean, I'm not like typically, you know, people find me amusing, but I, you know, I, I can deliver the comic timing. But somebody often has to point it out to me, <laughs> as pathetic as that may sound. So he's he's wonderful at directing me. And and, when we, and you and you understand that. And the shorthand is that you understand that. Because, so yeah, like, it. when I direct other people who I'm not married to, you know, you kind of have to tiptoe around saying, you know, why don't we try this or try that? You know, and it's, it <laughs> takes a lot of time sometimes. I can just say to her, put a pause there. Just put a pause. Okay. okay. <laughs> pause. Uh, Talk we're faster. Fine. Okay. <laughs> you know, and we're good. We're good. And she's like, she's like, that's fine. Yeah, it's fine. But what happens if you get mad during the rehearsal process? Well, I mean, how does normal. it just stay there? I mean, well, uh, one of us leaves the room and then we come back and start <laughs> over good. again. I mean, right? you know, it's not all, it, it's not all pretty, but you know, the end result it works. And I, I actually, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to do it with anybody else. I would I not want to do it with anybody Thank else. You. I trust him. He's wonderful. I think we've created an amazing show, and he's very supportive. He's proud of me, and you know, I. I, 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 if he wasn't there with me, it would not be the same thing. It's just wonderful. Totally get that. Well, our, our friends uh, jokingly call us the Lunts, you know, the <laughs> yes. Lunts. Yes. Because, uh, because uh, not, not that we think we're as great as the Lunts, <laughs> but, but because, uh, you know, they, they were married for a long time and they worked together for a long time and they would they, you know, have big fights and then they would make up and then they would work together. But they, they actually want. Amazing sex. The amazing sex, <laughs> evidently. <laughs> evidently. I don't know. I wasn't there. <laughs> but, but there's no kids, so I don't know how amazing it was. <laughs> That's the best comment. Kind of, am I wrong? <laughs> <laughs> <It's> <laughs> never mind. Never, never well, mind. in my lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> Lord. But, but event eventually, eventually, they wound up, uh, and, and actually it's pretty early in their lives, they, they didn't work with anyone else again. They, they, once they decided they could work together and they wanted to work together, they never worked with anyone else. So, uh, that's, that's, they I don't should. think that's going to happen with us. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. But I can understand. Variety like, is the spice of life. When you yeah. find that rhythm <laughs> with oh, someone. Oh, so you guys are swingers. Well, that's, oh, that's don't. Right. No, no, no. Oh, no. it's the Doris Day keys. Keys in the dish. No, Alexander. <laughs> Natasha, turn the mic off. Uh, pull it. <laughs> was that I a chapter have, in I, the Doris Day? No, I, that was I, not. I do have a swing medley in the show. Yeah, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> different, oh, different thing. Oh, different. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> was that funny? I don't even know. It was. <laughs> that was so, perfect. She's, she's been hilarious in this interview. You it's have been, been uh, fantastic. Hilarious. <laughs> hilarious. Both of you. It's the fancy Merlot that we serve. And you drink wine from a box. <laughs> <laughs> it's not from a box, I promise. You know, okay. I like wine from a box. So do I, actually. Speaking of which, I have to go back to something you brought up very, the very early. Uh -oh. No, 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 no. Going way back to when uh -oh. you first started. You said that Doris Day and she looked like she was wearing something from TJ Maxx and something. And I was like, I have to say, TJ Maxx is one of my favorites. Yes. You know, <laughs> no, 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 no. I too. thought Doris Day. The minute Day I said that, I knew brilliant. I had chosen wrong. No. Yes, you did. I meant to say because LLB. I was, I was sitting across from you, and you could tell that this blouse is probably from TJ Maxx. No! It's either that or, or Marshall's. No, no, but so, I, I so love those. <laughs> I said it wrong. I meant like LL Bean. She had like the like the white. Huh, you got called out. That's <laughs> it. Just own it. Just own Doris it. Doris Day at 90. I don't care what that woman wears. She is beautiful. I, I beautiful. couldn't. Beautiful, when, when those pictures came out of beautiful. her. Oh, and the video and the video, I mean, and the and and her talking and her. Oh, my gosh. No, correct me I mean, I was crying. I was crying. She's she's just Absolutely glorious. She stayed and really. Yeah, she talked to everybody. Every, that's, what every I I, that's what I heard yes, at her party. Yes, yes, yes. And she gave a really great phone interview to Robert Osborne 
uh, from uh, Turner Classic Movies. That was a really good interview. That yeah, I heard incredible. that. Yeah. He actually sounded sober for it, so that was she, good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, she 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 has obviously got got it all there. She didn't miss a beat. She was just absolutely right there with him and answered so many questions and and was just so engaging and charming. And you would you would not know that woman was ninety years old. She's just amazing. She keeps on picking. Yes, <laughs> she does. <laughs> yes, she does. So where can people find out about the show? Find out more about. Uh, mompreneur, where to get their wine uh, lunchbox? <laughs> Both of you. We're, we're all, all the social well, media first, outlets you have. All right. Well, we've uh, got uh, DorisDayTributeShow.com. It's a great Check it's it a fun page. Yeah, it's really fun. Yeah, so you can find out where, where, where we're doing a Doris Day Tribute Show next. Um, and, of course, my website is KellyLester.com. And uh, those wine bento boxes, <laughs> EasyLunchBoxes.com. Oh, and laurenlester.com. Check them out. And we'll put all that, all, all of that information up on our Facebook page as yeah. well. So if our listeners want to go there, just to find if you did, if you missed it or whatever. And and your Doris Day tribute show is so fun, or the page is so fun because you can click on media, you can see, you can hear you sing, you can see some snippets. And this will be up there soon. Yes, <laughs> yes it will. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the funny thing: she has a clip of there, her first time running through with the music uh -huh. arranger. She's like, oh, you know, first time, and then she's like, la la la. And it was like, oh, there's the show. Kelly's got chops. <laughs> I, oh, Oh, let's just put it out there. <laughs> <laughs> and this Sunday you will be at Rockwell. Uh, you can go to Rockwell Table and Stage uh, to, get, to tickets. get tickets. Go see the show. And then you, you'll be with us tomorrow, correct? It don't Cannot wait. Me. Cannot wait. wait. And for everybody listening, this is only in Los Angeles, guys. So, you know, call me up. DorisDayTributeShow.com. We want you in our city. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Put it out there. You, you want to see this show. It is fantastic. Fantastic. Kudos to both of you. Hey, set up, set up, whatever will be the future's not ours to see que sera sera what will be will be